Hello Scorpio, welcome to the channel. Thanks for stopping by. We're getting ready to do your love reading. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for Scorpio. We're looking at the mutual energy between you and your person. Boy, that was a fast shuffle. That wanted to come out. So it looks like the mutual energy in the recent past is that you may have given up on each other. You may have taken a trip together or one of you went to see the other one and came home feeling like there wasn't much chance. We have Aries energy. That is Ten of Wands, Sagittarius energy. So right now the energy between you looks like it picked back up. It looks like there's a lot of flirtiness. It looks like you're being sassy with each other. It looks like it's fun and sexy. And it looks like the energy, whatever happened in the recent past, looks like it's com been completely reversed. Now your person is actually thinking that the two of you have potential in this relationship. That's Taurus energy, Aries, and Sagittarius. So your person actually thinks that you could have a relationship in which you could live together or that you're on the same page in terms of your belief system. There's compatibility that I don't think was evident in the beginning part of the relationship. The other thing that I'm also seeing for you is that you might have met when you were traveling, but you might have also met when you were at a period of time in your lives when you were not feeling the happiest. All right. Ooh, Scorpio, your person views you as a magician card. You are magical. You have everything they could possibly want. Your person feels some remorse and regret. That's Gemini energy. Gemini energy here. Gemini and Virgo. Your person's still holding back. I feel as though both of you came from a sad place into this relationship. I feel as though, Scorpio, that while you may have recovered, you may be further along on your journey, I don't think your person is out of the woods yet. I think their heart still is hurting from somebody. And it could be, you know, a, a Gemini type person, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. They're still holding back. They view the situation as one in which you should be very, very careful. You should hold back for now is how they view it. You watch each other on social media. <laughs> it looks like you flirt a lot. looks like there's texting. The Two of Wands, Spirit is suggesting and advising that you make a decision. We see the outcome at this time as being the Knight of Wands energy, which is... A lot of in and out, playful energy, all about the adventure, all about the passion. Both of you seem to be willing to date other people or you're both in a situation where you're, you know, you are dating other people. You're on dating sites and that sort of thing. I don't see any dishonesty here at all. I see two people who really like each other, but I do feel, Scorpio, that you are so far along in your progression that you're manifesting what you want and your person still looks like they're very caught up in this guardedness and some pain about a past relationship so let's see i'm going to put those down we're going to look at wisdom of the oracle and see what the advice is about this relationship from spirit spirit give us messages about this connection because it looks as though you really delight in each other the truth be told. Okay, so I like that. There's a lot of integrity. When we get the Hierophant card, we get, you know, sometimes religious beliefs or high morality. It can be marriage, but it is, um, it's what you really, what you feel about heaven, what you feel about the afterlife. It's what you feel about marriage and institutions and philosophy. And so the truth be told, you both have a very strong and deep knowing. So we need to know what the deep knowing is about. Okay. To the sea. Okay. So we, the deep knowing that you have is that you are, the both of you as a team, are not really ready right now. Um, people are observing you from the outside. Some people are paying very close attention. You're just remaining flexible. Both of you, I like the energy. It looks as though it's very enriching, poised to take off. I really like this. Spirit is saying be gentle with each other. Just enjoy the honesty. Enjoy this for what it is. 
let's see what the messages of love are from the oracle cards let's see what does spirit want to tell you we're going to clarify these also but i want to see what the overall energy is for healing old wounds and childhood issues need revisiting so that's for both of you the way i'm seeing it because your person views you as somebody who's holding back who has some some things some hurdles to clear forgiveness, forgiving yourself and another will help you move forward. You know, I don't really see anybody having done anything wrong here. I don't see betrayal. I see this as two different people with different lives coming together, trying to see what fun you can have, chemistry, the attraction you feel is mutual. So I do feel as though the grieving that is evident in the relationship looks as though you brought it into the relationship. It doesn't look like something you caused one another, okay? So let's look and see what the clarifiers are. Here goes the ice cream truck. Hello, America. <laughs> All right, so let's see. Why do we have the Ten of Wands here? That's both of you were carrying baggage into the relationship, but both of you had left something behind by choice. It was not an easy choice for either of you. A small offer. I like it. So, you know, like, let's hang out. Let's, let's spend time together. Let's get to know each other. Why is there so much chemistry here? Hubba hubba nine of cups it looks like you guys have a great time you laugh it looks like you've really tapped into a lot of physical energy that's very positive it looks as though you have mutual friends in common but it also looks as though it feels it feels you feel like home to each other you know there's a really deep core of friendship in this relationship lots of sexual energy it's kind of it's fun why is the Hierophant here, according to your person? The, your person wants to have a marriage. The Wheel of Fortune is turning in your favor. It's very interesting because I don't think that you, when you met, there was any sort of a plan to, to meet anybody. It looks as though the circumstances that you were, you manifested one another. Look at that Justice card, Libra Energy. And Ace of Wands, you did manifest one another. Why is your person all up in their head, Virgo energy? They feel very self-protective. Your person was really hurt by someone. It looks as though your person was dumped on their head and they're still, you know, shocked and reeling by it. They didn't see it coming with the moon card. So we're seeing your person as, you know, healing not being really ready for something significant yet. Does this person want to be ready long-term for a significant relationship? Okay, hold on. Yep, here we go. Again, yes. So your person's very, very enthusiastic about the idea of long-term commitment, generally speaking. I don't see it as applying to you at this point. Um, there may be some reason or some differences in how you see things that makes this person hold back, but this person loves the adventure. They love that they met you. They feel as though you have brought them an incredible amount of fun, starry nights, surfboards. You've really opened up their horizons. They definitely want to have you in their life for a long time. They feel as though your relationship has really, really uh, been healing and exciting and friendly and lovely, that in many ways you mean a lot to them. Here we go, the hidden energy again. <laughs> this person is really watching you because well, look at this, you're watching each other actually. Both of you think that the other is very cute, very good looking, very sexy. Both of you really feel a great sense of uh, a desire to, to creep on each other's social pages. It's okay though, there's nothing, there's nothing negative here at all. The Two of Wands, Spirit says that the two of you will come to a crossroads that you're about there now, that you will have to make a decision moving forward about this relationship. Spirit is saying you can't manifest a relationship if you're holding back, okay? So it's basically saying that the decision you have to make 
both of you in this situation is to let your guard down and to allow the manifestation to happen. And if you're not willing to let your guard down and let the manifestation happen, you have all the tools, Gemini and Virgo energy. It says that you need to move on, right? Just leave each other alone and move on. But look at this, the Ace of Swords. Ooh, you have great clarity. You both know what you want. You love being together. You love being out together. People like the two of you as a couple. Why is the Knight of Wands here? You haven't made a decision. This came out reversed. So it shows that both of you are having a lot of fun, Knight of Wands energy, making love, you know, making love all night long. But it shows that you both are not willing to part ways right now. Why do we have the Two of Coins here for you, Scorpio? Why is the Two of Coins here? It's like you're not having a relationship and yet you're not, you're refusing to decide not to have one. Eight of Coins, you're still sort of, you still want to learn about each other. This is Virgo energy. You're, it's almost like this relationship is kind of growing slowly, even though there's some resistance to it. Interesting. But the Eight of Coins is mastery. The Two of Coins is a Ten of Coins. Eight and Two is Ten. So it does look like you're going to close out this cycle. Let's see what the um, Sacred Destiny cards have in store for you in terms of telling you about this relationship. Let's see. What is the destiny of this relationship? Is it going to be a fling or is it going to be the real thing? I feel as though you have a friendship for life, though. I really do. No matter what happens, it looks as though... Ah, oh, transformation, Scorpio. There's your card. Both of you have really transformed one another. You've cared about each other. You've had fun together. You really haven't tried to tie each other down. You know, you're going to really see one another as a, as a significant person in your life. What else do we have? This relationship was transformative. Success, there you go. It's successful. For wh whatever reason you came together, whatever reason you spent so much time together, or even if you didn't spend a lot of time together, if you're separated by distance, it does look as though both of you feel as though you came into one another's life for a good reason, purity. Oh, you think the best of each other. Your beliefs, your feelings, it's very intense energy. Very intense. So what I'm seeing for you, Scorpio, is that your feelings about this, is it's just not time to leave the relationship. It does look like it's going to continue to grow and transform both of you individually and possibly as a couple. Let's get three cards from the Heart of the Fairy Oracle to tell us more about the transformation that's taking place here for both of you in this relationship and connection. All oh, the song. You, I think you like music. Do you share music together? It looks like music has a really strong spiritual message for both of you. It looks like something that you share. The challenge, ooh, you're facing, you're facing a really beautiful aspect. The things that have challenged you in both of your lives, five and six equals 11. So there is sort of a twin flame quality to this relationship. The thief, hmm, okay. So let's see what that thief is. What is that thief about? So it does show that destiny has created a thief of some sort that is impacting the outcome of this relationship. Spirit, tell us about this thief because I don't see either one of you being a thief at all. The two of cups, wow. What I'm seeing here is that it really looks as though a marriage may not come about because of circumstances. The thief and the challenge is something about where you're at in your lives. So let's see. Let's get two more messages here 
What message do we need to know about this thief energy? Here and now, your true love is already a part of your life. Okay, so what we're seeing here is don't be fooled by what you think. Don't let, don't let differences steal a relationship with you just because it feels challenging. That's the message I'm getting. The timing is not quite right right now. Okay, so the timing is not right. Trust. It is tr it's it's your it's safe to trust the situation. So enjoy, don't question, just you know, go with the flow. See what transformations are coming about because both of you have very, very pure hearts. Scorpio, enjoy. Enjoy the beauty of the moment. Live in the moment. And I'm sending you love from Chicago. Since I'm back, take care. Bye-bye.